This episode of Power Wash Simulator is brought to you by the Prime Vista 3000, the premier power washer as used by power wash services. <laughs> the best power washer in all of Muckingham. Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're 50% cleaned of this mess. That was the worst grammatical way I could have worded that. Ahem! We're 50% of the way to cleaning this entire place. Yeah, that's much better. In fact, even the complaint should have been different. It should have been, uh... <laughs> that was the worst way I could have put that grammatically. Chimney cleaned. Ah! Butts. Do I have any comments to read you guys? Oh, uh... Shout out to Justin Jones, who says, Sometimes... I was, oh, yes, yes, this is on the subject of uh, American McGee's Alice, as opposed to just Alice, which is what American McGee wanted to call the game. Sometimes, when a name is attached to a game-slash-movie, it's used as a means to distinguish it from an identically named project. For example, and then in quotes, Rob Zombie's Halloween was used to distinguish it from John Carpenter's original. As an aside, I enjoyed the first of his, Rob Zombie's Halloween movies, but hated the second one. Uh, never saw either of them, or in fact any Halloween movie, so I'm afraid I cannot comment on that one way or the other. I'll have to take your word for it. Justin says, and my packing continues. Is there a packing simulation game? Someone ought to do a game set during the, re the events of Return to Oz, one of the most fucked up children's movies I've ever seen. Though it's also one of my favorite films, but that shouldn't surprise you, BDF. I read that. I read the novel Re Return to Oz when I was a child, and yeah, that's really weird. The only thing I remember really clearly were those guys who basically looked like normal humans, except with really long arms and legs, and instead of hands or feet, they had wheels. I mean, considering they basically couldn't do anything to you except try to bite you, they, uh, actually came across as pretty intimidating. Well, to a child. Oh, yes, and, uh, Derek Floyd, shout-out, replies, saying, There is an unpacking simulation slash puzzle game called, uh, Unpacking. <laughs> I heard about that. Saw the page on it for it on Steam. I was kind of interested, but I kind of got the vibe that there might be secret feels in it. Because, uh... There was a bit somewhere in the Steam page that talked about, uh... You know, telling a story through the new items that, uh, you bring with you, and which items you choose to leave behind. Man, with all these dark spots in the timbers, I have trouble telling which ones are clean and which ones are not. Oh, that's right, I needed to get up there. I moved it around to the other side, didn't I? Fuck! I gotta say, Power Wash Services is not a terribly creative name, Doc. This is non-ideal. Okay, screw that. Doing no fruit with that. Which is to say, my efforts are fruitless. Oh, man. 
Yeah, I'm never getting this to fit. I've only recently learned this. If you're using keyboard and mouse, it's a uh, scroll wheel to uh, to uh, rotate an object you're carrying in this game. to run all the way around the house to get to the scaffolding because the scaffolding was blocking itself. Take that, dirt! Front gable, uh, roof frame. Fuck yes. Those are two different things. Why is that one still filthy? Oh, almost had that. Oh no, I put the ladder on the other side again, except now I have to go all the way around. In fact, I'm gonna move the, uh, the, the thing over there. My mother actually has a pair of gloves that look just like this, but they're gardening gloves. And the little nubs are uh, actually raised dots to help you with grip. The fuck am I doing on the roof? I mean, I went all the way around and... Oh, that's right, yes, yes, I wanted to get the back of this thing. Sending a roof this steep is weird. Ascending it is even weirder, if this is basically a wall. No, there we go. The way I said that brought back a memory. A video clip I watched when I was a child that was taken on the moon. <sighs> I guess the gravity there is so low that you kind of move in slow motion. And, uh... Well, there was a thing where if you trip and fall over, you will know what's happening long before you hit the ground. So there was a video of an astronaut just walking on the surface of the moon, and he trips. And you just hear, no, as he slowly floats to the ground. <laughs> it's very annoyed. Ah, uh, no. cut to a moment where they were taking samples or something, and they <laughs> started singing. I was strolling on the moon one day in the very, very month of December. One of them said May. Can't really blame him. I mean, it is a song. Aside from, you know, actually being the month. Yes! They're not even a bad shape. They're just, like, practically vertical and I have to crawl all over the place to get them. Oh, I can't squeeze through there, so that's just embarrassing then. Let's pretend that didn't happen, and wait. Oh, no, I, I thought the dot in the middle was dirt again. It's 
probably cold water, right? Like, hot water cleans better, but what we're doing with this isn't really cl uh, cleaning so much as battering the dirt away. All right. I'm probably not even going to finish this because there's so little left on the bar. I did not think that through. There's Spider-Man as a line in that game where he says, Just once, I'd like to fight someone carrying a bag with a dollar sign on it. Should have been there to get these guys, Spidey. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not even sure what planet Muckingham is on, much less country. I mean, the name makes me think we're meant to be British here, but... Hmm. Can't really tell from the license plate. It just says, uh, PW5... Oh, PW Sophia, and the S is a 5. Sophia was a modeler. I feel fairly confident that PW stands for Power Wash in this game. What is this made out of? Wood. Fuck. Okay. No wood cleaner. I guess I could check. Wait, what the hell was that? Oh, no, that's just the nozzle, yeah. I forgot that there was a, a thing in there for that, because I'm just using the things all the time. The, 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 the bumpers. Here we go. Oh, no. I don't have the nozzle for that either. Uh, at least that was only ten bucks. How much is that nozzle? Uh, no. Oop. Just a three thousand short extension. Ah, ah! Prime Vista three thousand soap nozzle, six hundred dollar dues. Uses cleaning liquids to rapidly cut through all dirt types. I love that they have fucking stat screens and little arrays of dots on the side. Surface, encrusted, embedded, tough, in, uh, stubborn, ingrained, and oily. The Prime Vista 3000 is not good with oily. Hmm. I should get back in there. Uh, Urban X2. Kind of disappointed that oily isn't better on the w on the worse washer because I thought it might be interesting if there was some uh, you know benefit loss to each uh, level. Maybe in the sequel there will do things like oh here's a, a, a machine that is cal specifically for cleaning carpets. It's way better at carpets than any of your power washers. button was, uh, extension. See you in hell, Moss. That was a nice bonus. I wasn't actually expecting that to happen. Best kind. Oh, the trees look very painterly over there. What is this? Grime. Uh, 
That's the mu as much as I'm getting for this entire job. I think I can redo old levels to get more money. So much moss around this window. Holy shit. Oh, I'm sorry. It's lichen. This is the third window I found since I thought I ran out, just because there weren't any left in the main level. In fairness, this one is in a weird location. Well, for me. I'm sure it's quite normal to be on the inside of the- wait, this is a cottage. There's no stairs in there. There's no second floor. Maybe there's like one ladder leading up to a bedroom. Oh, it's starting to say, you know, uh, hot water cleans better, but I feel like you probably don't want, you know, if you're already fucking around with a power washer and you need to, like, make sure that the water flow is good and you're not tangling things and you're not getting yourself with it. Now on top of that, the water is really, really hot. You see what I mean? Just a, uh, another variable. When you're not even really cleaning, you're just using the water as a bludgeon. What? Front dormer wall. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Sixty percent, and here's G. Hexenjager. Hansel looks nothing like Rocky McGee. Hansel has a huge beard, long, unruly hair, and defeated eyes. Oh. Rocky was young, clean-shaven, handsome, and with such spirit. Incredible psychic powers tell me that, uh, Floozy and Rocky McGee are the bank robbers. I also really liked that, uh, Gretel said that, uh, Gretel's, uh, 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 comment on why she couldn't be Floozy McGee was, uh, <laughs> that she's older than Floozy McGee was the last time she was seen. Suddenly reminded of the live action version of The Tick. I only remember one joke from that show. It was, uh. <laughs> where, uh, one of the superheroes dies, and while they're cleaning out his apartment, uh, The Tick is going through the guy's autobiography and goes, You know, it's funny. I've been going through this all day, and. It mentions all of his accomplishments and all of his, uh, you know, victories, but nowhere in this does it say that he's dead. And it turns out that the Tick is so profoundly dumb, he didn't realize that living things die. He just thought that there were a bunch of dead people in the world already. So they had to break it to him like they would to a child. Very weird show. Even less superhero-y than the cartoon for the 90s. more like a standard uh, sitcom where everyone happened to be superheroes.
Like they did an episode about a sidekick who wanted to leave his superhero and it was very clearly a metaphor for abusive relationships. Up to and including the sidekick initially taking him back because he promised everything would be different. Like, they were not subtle about it. Oh. The timer. Well, let's see if we can't push it up uh, another percent by getting this screw here. Oh, and it just went up another percent anyway, so whatever. I have to go, I have to go over here because it won't reach otherwise. This isn't a great angle. But... Pressure will be at its greatest when I'm directly facing the wall, so I keep putting it on the white to make it spread out more. We went up 3% by getting this wall. Nice! 66%. Can't complain. The blueberry looks very nice in the sun, or in the shade like that. Imagine! I cleaned it once, and it's spotless forever! What a bargain! No wonder people are, uh... No <laughs> wonder I'm in high demand. <laughs> mm. Oh, the bug thought it was funny. Um... Yes. Oh yeah, making real progress since we came back here. I feel a lot better about walking out on uh, Hansel and Gretel to go throw myself down a rabbit hole. Even if it did work out pretty well. <laughs> I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play... or sorry, Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. Once again, we'll be getting back to regular programming first. Hope to see you there for both of those Burning Dog fans. Until then, have yourself a lovely day. Later.